Hi all, Plant Side Agent here. Uh, today I'm going to just talk about some uh, boil tests I did on uh, four styles of alcohol burners. Uh, kind of got to the boil tests uh, when I was uh, testing out some of these, these three particularly on a Esbet solid fuel stove. Uh, doing some boil tests to see if they, how an alcohol stove would work in the on the Esbit solid fuel uh, kit. Uh, I'll put links to those uh, tests in the description uh, box if you're interested. Uh, but anyway, so I just just out of curiosity, I thought I'd just do some real boil tests with uh, temperatures to see the performance on these uh, four varieties, and then. Um, Probably these three are the are three common styles you see. Um, I think they call this one the, a Super Cat. This is a smaller version. I think Super Cats, they use like a, uh, a uh, cat food can, and then they drill the holes in that to burn alcohol. <laughs> this has got screws. I use these uh, when I'm working on projects to like put screws and stuff in so I don't lose them. Anyway, that's side note, sidebar. Anyway, and uh, and one thing I was wondering about this one was uh, wh how, how the holes, uh, whether they really made a difference in performance. So I made one same size um, with no holes just to test it, uh, a boil test on it. Uh, yeah, these are from, let's see, these are made from these small uh, coffee uh, cans. They're a little bit narrower. And uh, as opposed to, here's the next size up, is the uh, seven and a half cent soda cans. You can see it's just a little bit narrower in diameter, as opposed to uh, a pop can, which a lot of these uh, penny can stoves are made out of. Anyway, so that's what I made. Uh, I made these two out of this, this size can and the penny can, which I'll get to in a sec. So anyway, that was the... Uh, first of the burn tests and then I also decided to go against a penny can. Uh, I used this one. This is the one I used in the uh, the Esbit test since it was smaller and it would fit under there. Uh, but I imagine the performance, I haven't really tested it. It's about the same of any penny can. Here's one like I showed you earlier that I made out of a pop can. And um, last but not least is my favorite is the uh, Fancy Feast. In this particular fancy feast, the uh, the inside pot stand is actually made from this this size can, which gives it uh, makes it this this one 0.4 ounces. Where if you use the uh, um, come on brain <laughs> use use the tomato paste can, it makes it 0.8 ounces. Small difference. So anyway, for all these. Uh, these four tests, I used one ounce of fuel uh, of the yellow heat, and I used 16 ounces of water. I used them on the, I used this Ollie Camp uh, pot, and I used one of the uh, hardware cloth uh, pot stands uh, for these three, and uh, this one has its own. Uh, one. <laughs> One thing I found out toward the end of, I think it was this burn test, uh, is that this is the small, looks like a quarter inch hole mesh. And I don't know if the bigger hardware cloth with a half inch uh, hole mesh would have a problem, but after a while, this one started to melt. And I, I was looking at something else while I was waiting for the water to come to boil. All of a sudden I see this sloping down and tipping over. And I go, oh, criminy. <laughs> So I had to kind of hold it off till it finally boiled so I could complete my test. But just an FYI, if you're going to use this, uh, I wouldn't recommend it because it could could be could have a catastrophic failure because it would get hot and start to start to, to to bend and then dump your hot water all over you or whatever. So anyway, and I say, imagine the uh, the bigger, thicker hardware cloth. I got a piece of that floating around somewhere. I think I had one small piece, not enough to make a... I think it's a little bit thicker, uh, so it might hold up better. I don't know. That's another reason I like this particular stove, 
is this performance is, is probably better than any of these, plus it has integrated putt stand. Of course, this melting thing got me to thinking, hmm, I wonder over time if the aluminum in these cans would have, have a failure over time. So probably to be on the safe side, if you're going to be using this stove a lot, you probably should just go with the... Uh, the uh, tomato paste can just sacrifice that 0.4 ounce. I know it'll probably break your back, but you know, safety over uh, weight, I think. <laughs> so that goes for a lot of the ultralight backpacking safety over weight. So, anyway, so I'm just gonna, uh, I think that's all I need to discuss on the stoves, and I'll just give you the uh, boil times uh, for each of these. I'll repost this in the description if you don't want to have to do the rest of my uh, diatribe here. Uh, so let's get going. This one, again, uh, it, uh, it, I started with water, and this one when the water was 50 degrees when I started this one. And uh, the boil time was, well, 13 minutes. It didn't get to 212. It didn't get to 211. Um, which boil, which is boiling, but not the magic 212, which is the official boil uh, temperature. But that took 13 minutes, and the thing burned out after 17 minutes and 17 seconds. So, not much of a performer. Okay, now with the same same size, but with the holes, one ounce of fuel. This time the temperature started at 51 degrees. The boil time was at seven minutes and three seconds so it's uh, quite a bit of difference in uh, in time so she almost almost half the time boil time just by putting these holes in here so i thought that 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 was quite interesting i'm sure there's some engineering science behind that more air draw uh okay now the penny can this is a a, a common stove, a good performer. A lot of people do it. It's light, easy to make. It's not, not a bad little stove. The only downside is you do need some sort of a pot stand. But anyway, uh, same same setup. This time the temperature is down to 50 degrees. I don't know why the temperature kept changing on these. Actually, uh, I did these tests, oh gosh, probably a month ago. But then I got tied up with doing the, the videos on the... Uh, Esbit uh, cook kit and then the Allox uh, cook set and uh, didn't uh, kind of put these on hold and then, then of course the weather got nice so I've been out there monkeying around in the garden and out in the yard getting stuff while the weather's good but today it's a cold uh, rainy Saturday so I figured let's try to get this video knocked out <laughs> and so I put the stuff away and clean off some of my workbench. Somebody made a comment about all the interesting stuff I have here but that's just what happens when you do things. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to the penny can. Um, it, uh, 50 degrees, it burned in, uh, came to a boil in 7 minutes and, and 5 seconds. So, 2 seconds longer than this one, which was, which was interesting. I guess uh, this is obviously going to be lighter, so you might as well just go with this one. This one... You can cut it out, and I just used a regular hole punch to do the holes in here, so probably. I was surprised this one actually will work better, and I would suspect this one would work better in colder temperatures because these need uh, enough heat to get, the, to get the stoves to bloom, so that's kind of an interesting. Uh, oops, got ahead of myself here. Let me back up. Uh, the boil time was, like I said, for this one was 7 minutes and three seconds and it burn time was seven minutes and 55 so obviously with the holes it burns hotter or faster that's why it boils faster so and then this one uh, the penny can it burned for seven minutes and 28 seconds so uh, burned just a little bit a little bit huh. it burned more fuel but it, it took longer to boil so of course these Tests probably could all vary, you know, from time to time. You know, you can't, uh, you know, I wouldn't publish these as fact. <laughs> so, and then last but not least, again, was the uh, good old uh, Fancy Feast. And it, the water temperature, it started at 50 degrees also. 
but it's the fastest boil time, six minutes and 45 seconds for two cups of water. And the burn time was nine minutes and 42. So you can see this, this guy just outperforms all of these stoves. And it's as, it's as light as any of them. This is probably the top for lightness. Um, one thing with, uh, you know, and it's got the integrated pot stand. See, yeah, these, these are light, but when you add the weight of this thing, you know, you haven't, uh, or any pot stand, you know, you, you lose some of the, the weight value of these smaller ones. I thought I had weighed this once upon a time, but can't remember. So, anyway, that's why I say this This is for, for an alcohol burner, uh, homemade, this, you, and lightweight. You just, you just can't beat the Fancy Feast. I don't know of anything to be better. This, like I said, this one's light, but if you add this, you're probably coming in in uh, probably more than uh, weight than, than this one. So, you really don't... This has got everything you need. Penny can. This is great until you lose the penny. You know, by the way, I don't know if anybody knows, you got to use older pennies because those new pennies, those light ones, will melt <laughs> and, and, and deform. Imagine they'll still work. I had one floating around here for a while where I did use it, and it did melt it as, as advertised. So, anyway, you could always use the, lose the penny, and then, then the stove performance drops out. So, it's... In, as anything in the outdoors or anything period the fewer moving parts probably the better less less things to uh, lose less things to break so anyway that's my uh, sermon on the uh, fancy feast so uh i think i've kind of beat this horse to death so uh i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye